Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach today, we are going to be making William Afton Springtrap a Roblox account. William Afton Springtrap has been appearing in Five Nights at Freddy's for quite some time now. Now, he actually has an appearance in Security Breach. I believe he has some sort of office, and it's pretty spooky. And we are going to be making him a Roblox account today. I'm surprised we've never made William Afton Springtrap a Roblox account. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, look at my guy. William Afton Springtrap here. He looks absolutely insane from top to bottom. Don't tell him I said that. He may haunt me. All right. <laughs> And I would not want him haunting me. But look at this guy. We have a lot to go over to make this Roblox account. So guys, if you're ready for this, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And guys, make sure to use star code ZEFPLAYS when buying Robux or Premium. Do as the sign says. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to get right into it and start making this Roblox account here today. So starting off, we are going to go to the avatar editor and start a fresh new Roblox account. And we're going to go a little bit different than what we normally do for security bridge characters. And we're going to do the cool kid make awesome. And we're going to go based off of that. Now we need to do a little bit of scaling here to make sure that we have it really, really good. So I'm going to go height all the way up. I'm going to go proportions all the way up and width just down slightly just to make it look a little bit taller than usual and that should be pretty good to go start off with and now we got to go to the avatar shop and start looking around for some of the things that are going to go on this william afton springtrap character so to start off we are definitely going to need the shirt and pants right here this just absolutely destroyed all right just broken and torn up shirt and pants again do not tell william after springtrap i said that about him but maybe he they see it as a compliment but hopefully <laughs> And the word doesn't get out of them. I don't want to be haunted by them. But let's go ahead and go to clothing, go to shirts here. We're going to type in William Afton Springtrap. And I think I actually spelt that right on the first try. <laughs> it only took me one try. Let's go. But we have some Springtrap here. And yes, this is looking great. Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And this is going to go well for the Security Breach one. So we're definitely going to buy these shirt and pants here. And start custom customizing the avatar right now. So I'm going to go ahead and buy both of those. Then we're going to go to the avatar editor. We're going to put some of the things on. Going to see how it looks like. And we're also going to put on like an animation package. Which I want to do before I forget. So I definitely want some sort of robot animation looking thing here so let's go ahead actually let's try something different we've been using robot animations every time for animatronics but you know what i think is a little bit creepier i think the elder animation is a bit creepier than the robot animations let's be real here and once we get in game you guys are going to see how creepy the elder animation really is trust me guys you do not want to miss that it's crazy especially when we have a character looking like a five nights at friday security bridge character it's absolutely insane so let's go back here now that we have the animations put on the shirt put on the pants here and we're probably gonna have to customize the skin tone as well to make sure we have the um basically arms and stuff matching up with everything so I want to go ahead and put those both on. So let's go to body, go to skin tone here. We pretty much can use the skin tone consistent throughout the whole thing. Now we're going to need a very, very dark green to match this. Now we do have some dark green options here in Roblox, but let's see how good they are. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm looking at the avatar. It's a little bit too green. If it was a bit darker, I think it would go better. Like maybe a more, hmm. We don't have too, too many options here. We could go just full on black. That always works if you're trying to blend something in. Um, and I'm just going to see here. Let's see how the just pitch black looks here. Let's see if it looks good. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know. And But we might go back to green. We might just go back to green because that will probably be the most accurate. But I don't know. Sometimes the most accurate on Roblox doesn't look that right. And you guys definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys don't like it. But we'll wait for that to load. Let's go to the avatar shop and look for the next things on the list. So we've gotten the shirt, gotten the pants, gotten the skin tone. And we've gotten the animation package, which again... You do not want to miss. It looks absolutely insane in game. But we have to look for the remaining parts of the character, which is going to be these head accessories. So, William Aft of Springtrap, we got to look for this crazy corrupted bunny looking thing. And it has a missing ear. I wonder who took a chunk out of the ear. Probably, probably like Freddy or something, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and go to accessories, go to head here, and let's go look for the crazy bunny. Now, there's a few ways we could do this. We could find some sort of bunny looking face mask head whatever i don't know what you call it hey head mask thing <laughs> or we could go and find each individual item which is like the face and the ears which is not as fun all right we definitely like looking for the head accessories but sometimes it doesn't work out like that so we're gonna type in bunny here and we're gonna see if we have any crazy bunny heads and oh my gosh look at this bunny normal mask okay this is definitely not what we need but this could you this this would have worked for a different character oh man if that would that was looking really really good but 
we can't use that we can't use that it's not good enough it's not the right color so we're gonna have to keep looking around here so i'm gonna go ahead and go to head here we're gonna type a bunny here and let's see what we can find now we are getting some bunny mask and bunny faces but they just do not look right at all so i uh, guys i'm thinking we might have to look for the regular one the regular route which i didn't want to do but that's okay so we're gonna type in green bunny ears <gasps> wait I, I just saw some green bunny ears <laughs> oh my gosh right when i searched for it i actually saw some and wait these could work these sort of cartoon neon looking ears could actually work pretty well because they kind of look corrupted a bit um, but we're gonna keep looking around because maybe there's oh the zombified the zombified bunny ears yo you're telling me we don't buy these these actually look really really good oh my goodness yo that might be the one that might be the one the zombified bunny ears because those looked really really well but i'm just making sure that there's not anything better here that we could go for but I'm thinking we go for these. But while I'm deciding, I want to go ahead and put on a face and make sure that looks good. So we're going to go to skin tone here. And we're going to make the head back to sort of like a dark green. Because that's just the way it's going to have to go. And then we're going to go to maybe here body and head. Maybe we'll customize the head a little bit here. We might be able to get away with like a different type of head. Like a roundy head. Uh, even though their head's not really roundy. So maybe we go for more of a strong jaw type head. And then we go to face. And we're going to put on the monster smile here. That's definitely going to be the one. Or no, zombie face. Zombie face just looks way more terrifying. And especially with the zombified ears, it's going to look pretty good. So guys, I'm going to combine everything together and make any changes that we need to do. So guys, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys are ready for this. Make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to use star code Zeth plays when my aerobics are premium. And do not go anywhere because we're about to check out the full character in game of the william afton spring chap version security breach so guys drop a like subscribe don't go anywhere because this is about to go crazy all right guys so i'm here in game right now and we are about to reveal this guys the william afton spring trap version so i did exactly what i said i stuck to the the strong jaw head that we did i did the zombie face with the ears and we're gonna actually react to this for the first time together and see how it looks now go easy on me sometimes with five Nights at freddy's characters it's very hard to get accurate in roblox because there's simply no other resources now obviously i'm open to suggestions so if you guys know of a better way to do it let me know down in the comments but we're gonna reveal this here i'm jumping down the mountain and uh <laughs> about to interrogate the village all right just about to vandalize the village over here but uh <laughs> Anyways, guys, once I reveal it, let me know how I did. Let me know, put a rating down in the comments. And at the end of the video, make sure to let me know who I should make next. But anyways, guys, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are ready for this. You start codes up plays with my Robux, Robux of Premium. Let's go ahead and reveal it. Three, two, one, and boom! Check it out. This is the back of the character. We're about to reveal the front. And boom! This is the front of the character. It definitely is terrifying. It definitely is terrifying with the elder animation, the shirt and pants, and the ears and the face. It looks absolutely crazy. So, guys, let me know how I did down in the comments. Let me know who I should make next. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.